<laughs> the bird and the wise ant. Once a bird and an ant lived on a big tree. Every morning, wise ant went out in search of food and filled its food store a little. One day, the bird asked, "Why do you store food, dear ant? It's springtime, and the food is in abundance. When the winter comes, there will be only snow and no food," replied the ant. The lazy bird did not bother and continued wasting time singing and flying. Soon, winter arrived, and snow covered the land. The ant, who had stored food, ate merrily. The bird was cold and hungry; she could not even find a twig. Moral of the story: There's a time for work, and a time for play. The shouting monster. At the footsteps of a big mountain lived many animals, including a tortoise. In the winter, when the snowstorm started, the big monsters on the other side of the mountain. Wouldn't stop shouting, uh, uh, uh. But looking around him, he saw that many other animals were lying frozen to death, and with looks of horror on their faces. He summoned up all his courage to move down the path towards the monster. The closer the tortoise got, the more the monster changed its shape. Then, when he was almost upon it. The tortoise realized that what he had thought was a monster was only a great pile of rocks, which formed a shape just like a monster. As for the uh uh uh, the tortoise realized this was just the sound of the wind blowing through a small cave. The tortoise carried on and eventually descended into a beautiful valley filled with woods and plenty of food. The tortoise lived very happily there, and became known everywhere as the brave little tortoise. Moral of the story: Fear is often much smaller than what you make of it. Rabbit and the Hunter. Once upon a time, there lived a smart rabbit in the forest. One day, a cruel hunter came to the forest. And started to look for animals. The hunter saw a burrow beside a big tree in which the rabbit used to live. He put his hands in the burrow and pulled the rabbit from inside of the burrow. The rabbit was scared, but he was brave and asked the hunter to set him free. The hunter laughed at the rabbit and said, "You're so small and cannot do any harm to the big hunter." He put the rabbit inside his bag along with his water bottle. After an hour, the hunter felt thirsty and said, "Oh, it's too hot. Let me drink some water." Rabbit heard the hunter and quickly opened his water bottle cap. Soon the bag was wet and all the water spilled out. The hunter said, "Oh no! All my water is gone. What will I drink now?" And started to empty the bag. As soon as he pulled the rabbit out of the bag, he jumped and ran as fast as he can. The hunter was left thirsty and empty-handed. Moral of the story: Never judge anyone by size. Three fishes: Leo, Tweety, and Fredo. The three fishes lived together in a lake. One day, as the three were playing, they heard two fishermen talking about fishing. The first man said, "I heard about this lake. It has some big fishes." The second man replied, "I love to cook and eat the fresh fish. We'll come back tomorrow noon here." After they were gone, Leo said. We should go to the nearby canal, and we may then reach a new lake. Tweety and Fredo were too lazy and ignored, saying, "Let us have some rest now. We can think about it tomorrow when we see them."
Next day, the two fishermen arrived and caught Tweety and Fredo before they could plan for an escape. While Leo planned ahead and lived happily in the new lake. Moral of the story, planning ahead makes lives easier. Fox and the Stork One day, a selfish fox invited a stork for dinner. The stork was very happy with the invitation. She reached the fox's home on time and knocked at the door with her long beak. The fox took her to the dinner table and served some soup in shallow bowls for both of them. As the bowl was too shallow for the stork, she couldn't have soup at all. But the fox licked up his soup quickly. The stork was angry and upset, but she didn't show her anger and behaved politely. To teach a lesson to the fox, she then invited him for dinner the next day. She too served soup, but this time the soup was served in two tall, narrow vases. Stork devoured the soup from her vase, but the fox couldn't drink any of it because of his narrow neck. The fox realized his mistake and went home famished. Moral of the story, a selfish act backfires sooner or later. The Bunny Who Rolled Once there was fluffy and round bunny called Furry Tail. He was always sad. All his bunny friends hopped and played in the grass, but he could not hop. One day, when everyone was playing on top of a hill, a yellow cat saw him. She said, Why do you look so sad? I want to play with other bunnies, but I cannot hop as they can, said Furry Tail. The cat said, There must be something you are great at. How about rolling? You must try to roll. She got up and pushed the bunny down the hill. Furry Tail rolled and rolled. He rolled faster than the others could hop. He had a wonderful time. All the bunnies clapped for him and said, Let's play rolling! And thereafter, Furry Tail was a very happy bunny. Moral of the story, everyone is special. Don't try to be like others. The Lonely Elephant once upon a time, a lone elephant made her way into a strange forest. It was new to her, and she was looking to make friends. She approached a monkey, a frog, a rabbit, a deer, but everyone said, You are too big to be a friend. The elephant was really sad because she couldn't make friends. Then, one day, she saw all the animals running deeper into the forest, and she asked a bear what the fuss was about. The bear said, The lion is on the loose. They're running from him to save themselves. The elephant went up to the lion and said, Please don't hurt these innocent animals. Please leave them alone. The lion scoffed and asked the elephant to move aside. Then the elephant got angry and pushed the lion with all her might, injuring him. All the other animals came out slowly and started to rejoice about the lion's defeat. They went to the elephant and said to her, You are just the right size to be our friend. Moral of the story, a person's size does not determine their worth. The Treasure in a Rotten Box in a far, far island, there was a pool full of treasure. The pool had with shiny boxes, which were filled with silver coins. In that pool of treasure was a dirty box made of rotten wood. Treasure hunters used to come and takes only the shiny boxes and ignores the dirty wooden box. After some days, the pool was left with just the rotten, wooden box. People used to come for treasure hunting, as usual, leave empty-handed, 
ignoring the dirty-looking box. After some days, a pirate came to the island looking for the treasure. He searched the entire pool, but found nothing but the wooden box. The pirate was sad, as he never found any shiny boxes of treasure. When he opened the wooden box, he got surprised that it was filled with golds, diamonds, and many precious gems. Moral of the story, never judge something from the way it looks. The Lion and the Mouse A lion was once sleeping in the jungle when a mouse started running up and down his body just for fun. This disturbed the lion's sleep, and he woke up quite angry. He was about to eat the mouse when he desperately asked the lion to set him free. I promise you, I will be of great help to you someday if you save me. The lion laughed at the mouse's confidence and let him go. <laughs> One day, a few hunters came into the forest and took the lion with them. They tied him up against a tree. The lion was struggling to get out and started to whimper. Soon, the mouse walked past and noticed the lion in trouble. Quickly, he ran and gnawed on the ropes to set the lion free. Both of them sped off into the jungle. Moral of the story, a small act of kindness can go a long way. The Frog Who Had Teeth One dark night, the frog was about to eat a magic fly. Suddenly, the fly said, if you leave me, I can give you perfect teeth. The frog agreed and was happy with his new teeth. I'm delighted with the change, repeated the frog proudly. I much prefer the consumption of candy to feeding on filthy flies. The magic fly noticed that the frog was taking little care about choosing what to eat. And he kept telling the frog, Look after your teeth, Mr. Frog. Brush them so you don't get a toothache. And above all, don't eat so many sweets. But the frog didn't pay much attention. He thought his teeth were too strong for him to have to brush them. He liked sweets so much that he didn't even try to eat less. One day, a tooth started decaying and started to fall out. Gradually, the decay spread throughout his mouth and there were holes in all his teeth. And when his last tooth fell out, he lost the ability to talk. Poor Mr. Frog. If he hadn't lost that last tooth, he could have told the magic fly that if he gave him teeth again, he would brush them every day. After all, there's nothing more disgusting than having to go back to eating bugs. Yuck! Moral of the story, Always listen to your well-wishers. The Tortoise and the Mouse Deep in the forest, a tortoise and his friend Mouse lived inside a wooden log. The mouse was too quick and never waited for the tortoise to eat all the fruits dropping from the trees around. Tortoise was slow and had to eat the leftovers. One day, the tortoise was too hungry and asked the mouse to wait for him and not finish the fruits quickly. The mouse retorted and made fun of Tortoise's shell and did not allow him to get inside the wooden log. Soon, a hungry fox came in search of food and smelled an animal nearby. The fox picked up the tortoise to eat, but he quickly hides inside his shell. The shell was too hard for the fox to eat, and thus, she threw the tortoise aside. The fox then angrily pulled the mouse from the log and ate it. The tortoise thanked God for giving him such a strong shell and lived happily inside the wooden log. Moral of the story, never make fun of anyone. Unity is strength. 
A wise pigeon named Tujo used to live with lots of other birds on a big banyan tree just outside a village. One morning, they saw plenty of grains strewn around on the ground. Tujo and all his friends happily came down to feed on the grains. But it was a trap laid by a cunning hunter. All the birds trapped in the net which the hunter has spread on the ground. It was then Tujo, who was very wise, thought of a plan. Tujo asked all of the birds to be brave and not to lose courage. Brave Tujo suggested that if all of them made a joint effort, they would be able to fly away with the net to escape. Tujo was smart and wise and knew the power of unity. Grabbing a part of the net in their beaks, they flew upwards and escaped. The hunter could do nothing but repent at seeing the pigeons flying away. Moral of the story, unity is strength. The Fox and the Grapes One very hot day, a thirsty fox saw a beautiful bunch of ripe grapes hanging in a garden. The grapes seemed ready to burst with juice, and the fox's mouth watered as he gazed longingly at them. Then he walked quietly into the garden and jumped up at the grapes. The first time he jumped, he missed it by a long way. Again and again he tried, but in vain. Every time he couldn't get the grapes. Finally, he sat down and looked at the grapes in disgust. He said, I won't try any more. The grapes are probably sour. And off he walked very, very scornfully. Moral of the story, it is easy to hate what you cannot have. The Knight and the Monster Once a noble king married to a very beautiful queen. Sadly, a huge monster with large wings carried the queen away. The brave king rode his horse and went after the dangerous monster, but the monster flew far, far away. On his way, the king found a deserted palace where a wounded old man lived all alone. The kind king nursed the old man and gave him some food. Soon the old man started feeling better and turned into a wizard. The old wizard was grateful and gave a magical dagger and blue wings to the king. The king soon reached the castle and found the queen. He stabbed the monster's heart with the magic dagger. The monster burnt to ashes. Then the king used his wings to fly away with his queen. They both lived happily ever after. Moral of the story, a kindness is never wasted. The Boy Who Cried Wolf In a village lived a carefree boy. Every day, he had to take the sheep to the grassy fields and watch them as they graze. He wanted to run and play, not watch the boring sheep graze in the field. So he decided to have some fun. He cried, Wolf! Wolf! until the entire village came running with stones to chase away the wolf. When the villagers saw that there was no wolf, they left muttering under their breath about how the boy had wasted their time. The next day, the boy cried once more, Wolf! Wolf! And again, the villagers rushed there to chase the wolf away. The boy laughed at the fright he had caused. <laughs> This time, the villagers left angrily. The third day, as the boy went up the small hill, he suddenly saw a wolf attacking his sheep. He cried as hard as he could, Wolf! 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 But not a single villager came to help him. The villagers thought that he was trying to fool them again and did not come to rescue him or his sheep. The little boy lost many sheep that day, all because of his foolishness. 
Moral of the story, never tell a lie. The Thirsty Crow One hot day, a thirsty crow flew all over the fields looking for water. For a long time, she could not find any. Suddenly, she saw a water jug below her. She flew straight down and tried to push her head into the jug. Sadly, she found that the neck of the jug was too narrow. Then she tried to push the jug down for the water, but the jug was too heavy. The crow thought hard for a while. Then, looking around her, she saw some pebbles. She suddenly had a good idea. She started picking up the pebbles one by one, dropping each one into the jug. As more and more pebbles filled the jug, the water level kept rising. Soon it was high enough for the crow to drink. Her plan had worked. Moral of the story, if you try hard enough, you may soon find an answer to your problem. Act of Kindness One afternoon, little Ryan was fishing by the nearby pond. After a few hours passed, Ryan caught nothing but a very small fish. Ryan was about to put it in his basket when the little fish said, Please spare me. I'm so small it is not worthwhile to carry me home. Ryan was too tired and hungry. But looking at the sad fish, he let her go in the water. The fish quickly turned into a beautiful fairy and said, Ryan, you are a nice and kind boy. I have a wonderful gift for you. The fairy gave a bag full of chocolates, candies, fruits, and lots of toys to Ryan. Moral of the story, always be kind to others. The Impatient Boy a king who had no children announced a competition to decide who would be made a prince and heir to the throne. The boy, who passed all the tests, although excellent, was impatient, and that worried the king. So the king decided to test the boy. He took the boy to the forest with a dog and pointed him at a great treasure in the center of the woods. The king left the boy with the dog and said that if, upon his return, the boy and the treasures were still there, waiting for him, then the boy would receive the kingdom. The boy accepted the challenge, but soon he grew impatient, and despite the king's warnings, the boy entered the forest. As soon as he did so, the treasure disappeared, and so the boy lost both the treasure and the chance to inherit the kingdom. Moral of the story, have patience. Honest Woodcutter There was once a woodcutter working hard in the forest, getting wood to sell for some food. As he was cutting a tree, his axe accidentally fell into the river. The river was deep and was flowing really fast. He lost his axe and could not find it again. He sat at the bank of the river and wept. While he wept, the goddess of the river arose and asked him what happened. The woodcutter told her the story. The goddess of the river offered to help him by looking for his axe. The goddess disappeared into the river and retrieved a golden axe. But the woodcutter said it was not his. She disappeared again and came back with a silver axe. But the woodcutter said that was not his either. The goddess disappeared into the water again and came back with an iron axe. The woodcutter smiled and said it was his. The goddess was impressed with the woodcutter's honesty and gifted him both the golden and silver axes. Moral of the story, honesty is the best policy. Magic Words A long, long time ago, a little boy named Paul was walking through a park. In the middle of the park, there was a tree with a sign on it. The sign said, I am a magic tree. Say the magic words and you will see. 
The boy tried to guess the magic words. He tried abracadabra, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, tantara, and many more. But none of them worked. Exhausted, he threw himself on the floor saying, Please, dear tree. And suddenly, a big door opened in the trunk. Inside, everything was dark except for a sign which said, Carry on with your magic. Then the boy said, Thank you, dear tree. With this, the inside of the tree lit up brightly and revealed a pathway leading to a great big pile of toys and chocolate. The little boy brought all his friends to the magic tree, and they had the best party ever. This is why people always say, that please and thank you are the magic words. Moral of the story, always say please and thank you. The Horse and the Fox Once upon a time, in a jungle, there lived two friends, a horse and a fox. One day, they saw grapes on the other side of the river. They planned to cross the river, but Freddy did not know how to swim so the horse decided to carry the fox on his back. After crossing the river, they ate lots of juicy grapes. The fox was full, but the horse was still eating. All of a sudden, Happy Fox began to sing loudly. Afraid horse asked him to stop, as the farmers nearby might hear them. But the fox said it was his habit to sing after meals. Soon, the farmers reached the spot with long sticks, and hit the horse badly. They both ran towards the river. While going back, the horse wanted to teach Fox a lesson. In the middle of the river, the horse took a deliberate dip while the fox was on top of him. The selfish fox was scared and said not to do so, but the horse said it is his habit to do so after meals. Fox was afraid and learned his lesson. Moral of the story, every action has equal and opposite reaction. Value of Zero One day, a great teacher called the Meeting of Numbers. All the numbers came there except zero. The teacher ordered the numbers to find zero. All the letters searched for zero, but could not find him. At last, all the numbers found Zero hiding behind the tree. The teacher asked Zero, Why are you hiding? Zero started crying and said, I have no value. The teacher asked number one to stand before Zero. Then he asked, What is the value of one? All the numbers started shouting, Ten, ten, ten! The teacher added one more zero and asked, Now what is the value now? All the numbers started shouting, One hundred, one hundred, one hundred! Now zero became a hero. Moral of the story, Every person is important and valuable. The Big Grumpy Tree There was once a grumpy tree. It was the biggest tree in the forest, and it didn't need its shadow for anything. But the tree would never share its shadow with any of the animals, and wouldn't let them come anywhere near. One year, the autumn and winter were terrible, and the tree, without its leaves, was going to die of cold. A little girl who went to live with her grandma that winter, found the tree shivering. So she went to get a great big scarf to warm the tree up. The next springtime, the tree had learned from the girl's generosity. When she sat next to the trunk, the tree bent down to shade her from the sun. From then on, all animals were able to shade themselves well. Because the tree had learned that having kind and generous beings around makes the world a much better place to live in. Moral of the story, 
Be kind and generous to others. The Old Lion and the Rabbit. The old lion was the king of the jungle. He was too old and slow to hunt. The lion was very hungry and starving. He came up with an idea. He called the mouse and said, "I'm not feeling well. Go and tell everyone to pay a visit to the sick lion." "Yes, King Lion," said the mouse and left. The animals had no choice but to visit the old lion. Soon they started to disappear one by one from the lion's den. It was Mr. Rabbit's turn today. He thought, "No one came from visiting Mr. Lion's den. I have to find out what happened." When he reached the lion's den, he said, "This is strange. There are footprints leading inside, but none going outside." He soon understood Lion's trick to eat animals who visited him. He ran fast as he could and said, "I am not going to be eaten today." Thanks to the wise rabbit, no animal came near the lion's den ever again. Moral of the story: Understand the situation before you react. Better batter butter. One day, Betty Butter wanted to bake a cake. She bought some cheap butter to bake it, but something was wrong with the butter. This butter is bitter," said Betty Butter as she tasted the butter. "If I put it in my cake batter, it will make the batter bitter. But if I put a bit of better butter, that would make my batter better." So she went off to buy a better butter than her bitter butter. She mixed a bit of better butter into her cake batter. She tasted the batter and was happy that the batter was not bitter. She adopted the best way to solve the problem, because there will always be one. Moral of the story: If you have a problem, think ways to solve it. A day in the park. One sunny day, Maya and Ella were playing in the park. They saw some ants taking food inside a hole in the ground. They saw a small spider spin a web. Maya also spotted a bird's nest on one of the trees. Suddenly, they heard a hissing sound. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Ella saw a snake behind the bushes. She was scared and started to throw stones at it. Stop! Stop! cried Maya. The snake will get hurt. We need to scare it off and not hurt it. Stay still. Maya bent down and took some sticks. She lit a little fire. The smell of the smoke made the snake sneeze. It felt scared and went away. Ella smiled and said, "You are very brave, Maya." Thank you for helping me. They both walked back home excited. Moral of the story: Always think before you act. Listen to more kids stories. Download our app, Play Store, and App Store now.